Hey, what's going on? This is D Car Lady coming at you. All right, today we're going to talk about a direct mail pro tutorial how to edit your social profile links okay now first off the reason that you would want to do this is so that way your team can contact you right that pretty much is the way that they can contact you even if they signed up on the autopilot you know you didn't talk to them they'll have a way to reach out to you so let's go ahead and jump into it now i'm going to share my screen so i can show you how to do this all right now stick around to the end because you already know i got something really cool really cool and special for you all right so go over to direct mail pro all right and this right here is just going to directmailpro.com and you're just going to log into your account all right once you log into your account here okay you're going to come over here let's go back to the uh, home page really quick i'm going to take you back to the home page and it'll probably be your dashboard all right but basically um now you want to go over to my account right here go down to my social links my social links okay and once you get over there, now for Direct Mail Pro, they allow us three social profile links that we can put in, all right? One is for Facebook. So Facebook is really simple, which whatever your Facebook username is, just put that username in. Mine is Lady. yours is John Sue or whatever, right? <laughs> so whatever your uh, username is for Facebook, just put that in. Whatever your username is for Twitter, it's pretty um, simple, uh, straightforward, put that in. Now, if for some reason you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have a... Twitter account, you know, you probably have a Facebook, but for whatever reason, if you don't have a Facebook, then Facebook's free. You can grab one. Twitter's free. You can grab one. If you don't have one and you don't put anything there, then you just don't put one there, right? It is what it is, okay? Of course, you know, it'll just, uh, if someone clicks it, it'll just go out to pretty much twitter.com, right? I mean, it won't actually show a page is my point, so don't worry about it. Now, for YouTube, if you don't have a channel, once again, don't worry about it. If you do have a channel, now let me show you how to actually get your username for YouTube. Now, because I actually went through this the first time and, you know, it kind of uh, kind of threw me off course. I'm like, what? what's going on? All right. So anyway, if you have a custom name for YouTube, like mine is D Car Lady, which means it's YouTube.com forward slash D Car Lady. But in order to get that custom name from YouTube, you got to have, I think it's like 100 subscribers. Right. So you may not have a custom name yet. So if you did have a custom name like mine is D Car Lady right? Then you will put that custom username in there and you will be totally fine. You'd hit update social uh, links right there. It'd update those links. And then when you tested these pages, this uh, link right here for YouTube would take it over to your particular YouTube channel. That's if you had the ability to make that custom name. Like I said, with YouTube, I believe you have to have like a hundred subscribers first before you have the right to make a custom name. So I know a lot of people are just starting with YouTube. So let's close that out. So I'm going to show you how to actually get your um, YouTube channel uh, name, even if you don't have a custom username. So check this out. So we're just going to take it back here, go back to my account, go to my social links. All right. So that way we can go ahead and edit this. And once again, we're on the YouTube section. So what you're going to do is go over to your YouTube channel. Just go ahead, go over there. So let's do it. So go over to your YouTube channel and you'll wind up on the homepage of your YouTube channel, but I'm going to show you how to get your YouTube channel link for that. Go up here to the top right. You'll see uh, your icon. It'll probably be your picture if you set your channel up. If, if, if not, it'll just be a circle, right? <laughs> so just go ahead and click that icon right there. All right. And you're going to come down. Let me move my picture out the way. Put it over here. Okay, you're gonna come down here. You're gonna hit YouTube Studio Beta. All right. Now, the way that I'm showing you to get that, um, there's gonna be more than one way that you can arrive at the same answer. Okay. So for you know those people like, ah, oh, could have did this. We'll do that as long as you get the right answer. You're fine. Okay. So, but for this demonstration, I'm just gonna show you. Hit YouTube Studio Beta. All right. Gonna hit YouTube Studio Beta. Let that go ahead and pull up. And then once that pulls up, then I'm going to show you the uh, next step. Computer just a little bit slow. All right. Wonderful. All right. From here, we're going to go ahead and hit our name icon again. Uh, well, our picture. Our picture up here again. Okay. And then we're just going to hit your channel right there. All right. And like I said, this is the way that I get to the channel link. If you know another way to get there, then by all means, get there as long as you get there, right? 
All right. So now up here, this is this right here is actually your your whole YouTube link. All right. But for the purposes of updating, you know, putting in your social profile link for Direct Mail Pro, you don't need the whole link. I'm going to show you the part that you need. You need the end part right all the way over to where it says channel you see the channel but guess what you're going to include that word channel yeah i found that out yep include the word channel so basically everything after youtube.com forward slash everything after that is what you're going to include now keep in mind that's if you're finding the link going doing the um directions that i'm giving you Okay, so don't do it another way. I'm like, oh, it didn't work. Just do it the way I'm telling you to do it, right? <laughs> so, you know, copy that part right there. Like I said, that's everything after the forward slash. It's youtube.com forward slash. Okay, copy the rest of that. Then go back over here uh, to for your YouTube username. All right, paste that in there. Paste that in there. All right, paste that in there. Okay, that whole part. And then hit update social links. Okay. Let that uh, update. All right, now let's update it, and now you can check it, okay? And now we can check all of them. Let's just go ahead and check all, because you want to check all of them anyway. So go ahead, hit your uh, Facebook, and it's going to take you over to your particular Facebook profile. If for some reason it doesn't take you to your Facebook profile, that means you put in the wrong username, okay? But most people do know their uh, Facebook uh, username, so you'd be good to go. So this is my uh, Facebook page, so that's working. Perfect, perfect. All right, so we'll get out of that. Then we go back over here and let's check my Twitter. All right. And like I said, if you don't have a Twitter, then you don't have a Twitter. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. Right. If you have a Twitter, put in your Twitter username and you see mine is pulling up because that's my correct uh, Twitter username. Perfect. Perfect. All right. And now just uh, my YouTube. Now, remember, I put in the channel with the whole YouTube link. I didn't put in my custom uh, username. But if you have a custom username, use it. It's totally cool. Right. If you don't, guess what? We're going to go ahead and hit this YouTube button. Right. And guess what? It's still going to happen. It's still going to pull up your channel because you did it the way that I told you to do it. And then you'll still be good to go. All right. And like I said, you want to you want to do this process. So that way, when someone signs up for you and they're in their back office and all that good stuff, there's um, ways that they can actually reach out to you. And I think I'll do a video on that, too, uh, just to show you guys exactly how you can, because there's a couple other ways you can contact your sponsor. Yeah, I'll do a video on that, too, for you uh, later. All right. So other than that, guys, that is how you this for this direct mail pro tutorial how you update your social profile links okay how you can edit those in direct mail pro all right sounds like a plan now i do have like i said i have a free bonus for you guys you know i like to give out bonuses and all that good stuff definitely stuff that can help you out so what i'll do all right the second link down in the description okay i'm going to actually leave you a link to some free training all right. And actually, I'm going through some a free live training showing you guys how to set up your business from scratch, how to start your online business from scratch. OK, there's a lot of people who just started online or if you've been online for a while and you haven't really had any success. It's probably because you weren't set up properly. You just didn't know how to get set up properly from scratch. Right. All right. So don't worry about it. You go ahead and crush out with that second link in the description. And it's also, once you get inside the um, membership area with that free training, um, you're also going to be able to have access uh, to my Facebook group. So that way you can get in there and get some ongoing support, regardless of who your sponsor is. You want to win, right? So let's win. All right. Now, the very first link in the description will actually be the link to Direct Mail Pro. If you have not joined that opportunity, definitely take me up on that. Join the opportunity with Direct Mail Pro. Jump on my team, Team D Car Lady, and got some cool bonuses for you on that as well. All right. So, other than that, guys, hopefully you found this valuable. If you have, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and crush the bell next to that subscribe button. All right. Crush that bell. And you already know, guys, I'm bringing it to you every single week tips, tricks, tools, and the mindset, all right? The reviews so that you can make wise decisions in your business. And this is D Car Lady. Yeah. We're going to take this ride to the top, baby. All right. And we out.